next game we're going to do for you is for uh, Colin and Brad, right, with Jeff as the caller. And uh, what we need uh, from the audience is a suggestion of a how-to show, how to do something you'd always want to learn how to do. How to box. This game is called New Choice. It's really easy to play. Uh, Colin and Brad are going to play this game. And they're going to start a scene uh, telling you how to box. And Jeff is going to yell New Choice every once in a while. And when he says that, they have to think of a whole new thing to say. Sound hard? It's really hard. That's why I'm getting out of here and letting Brad and Colin play New Choice. Welcome to How to Box. That's right. <laughs> We're crusty old boxing trainers, but we know a lot of tricks about the art of pugilism. And boxing. <laughs> That's right. We can teach you how to stick and move and put an uppercut straight to the chin. New uh, choice. We can teach you how to bob and weave and stick one straight in the solar plexus. New uh, choice. We will make you knock him dead cold so he sees nothing but little birdies as he's being wheeled off to the hospital. And box. <laughs> All right, it's very important to keep in good shape. And New choice. It's very important to be flabby like a squid at a buffet. <laughs> That's right. It's nice to have some extra padding for when they get those body shots. Filling your belly with burritos softens the blow so that your actual stomach muscles don't take the impact. Endurance is very important. New choice. Running very quickly away from your opponents is very important. <laughs> That's why I like to train with a skipping rope. New choice. That's why I use the unicycle. New choice. That's why I stand and think about what great shape I'm in. <laughs> That's right. That's a very zen approach to boxing. First, convince yourself you're in peak condition. Then get into the mind of your opponent. New choice. First, you convince yourself that you're better than that guy, and then you sneak around behind him and cold cock him while he's not looking. The time for talk is over. Let's put on the boxing gloves. New choice. The time for discourse is just begun. <laughs> New choice. The time for making a sandwich is bad, because we are ready to beat the crap out of each other. That's right. We used to fight a long time ago, back in 1969. New choice. We used to fight once or twice every s solar eclipse. New choice. One time I hit him so soft that my hand broke. He's got an iron jaw. In fact, his boxing name is Iron Jaw McGillicuddy. That's right. It used to be Tim, but it got no respect. You need a name that needs respect. That's why I changed it to... Monster Muscle McGee. New choice. That's why I changed it to Canvas Crunching Tomlinson. And I can tell you I made him crunch the canvas several times. <laughs> As you can see, I've got my boxing gloves on. They're a little bigger than normal because I inflated them with air. That's right. These are the two and a half ounce gloves. They're just kind of like mittens. I like to practice first by using the weasel on a rope. New choice. I like to practice first by... Picking up a television and spinning it on my head. That's right. Now, he is at the zenith of his training. Let's get going. Now, first of all, you want to fake out your opponent by throwing a punch you don't actually intend to land. See? Now he's all confused. That's when I go for the kill with the other hand. New punch. New punch. Now, if the referee doesn't see that, it's a very good punch. Always make sure to remove your testicles before the match. I keep mine in a jar of Benzene Jr. in my locker. All right. Now, as I said before, how do you build strength in the punch? Well, of course, barbells are a very good idea. New choice. Of course, bench pressing an elephant is really good. Oh, God, it's so heavy! You want me to spot you? Please! Oh, he got poop on the floor. That's because I scared him. The number one key to intimidation is size and the face you make. Look at the face he makes. New face. New face. <laughs> We call that the angry weasel. It's always worked. And I lost two fights to that face. One in 69 and the other one in 84, whenever that last solar eclipse was. Now, it's also important, it's also important to have some
some sort of <laughs> trunk wear that will distinguish you from the other guys. Good choice. It's also important to have slimming boxer shorts so that you don't look like you got a big keister. Good choice. I like to have him in a kilt because he used to be from Scotland. Good choice. Something in a capri pants is not acceptable when you're boxing. <laughs> Good choice, everybody. How about that?